you better pick another choice than mothballs. Naphthalene, which is a polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon, also known as PAH, is what is found in mothballs. And it's a carcinogenic toxin. So maybe you'd like to talk about this study and all the other places that we can find naphthalene because it's not just in mothballs. No, it's pretty toxic and it's definitely carcinogenic. It's found in all kinds of things like car exhaust uh, and tobacco smoke it, and uh, it's found in paints and cooking. It's that black stuff that you see when you barbecue. All those things can cause cancer. And we know that in, in, when you measure this in prenatal situations, that uh, the children that are born that are exposed to this have an association with obesity, IQ deficits, and certain kinds of cancers. Which is pretty amazing that it's associated with obesity, don't you think? You know, you, you do an outcome study, which means you're not really sure what's going to happen. So you study a group of people, you expose them to certain toxins, and then you see what happens to them. And it's like, wow, they got fat. How did that happen? But Nonetheless, it did happen. In this particular study, what they did is they looked at 113 kids who were age 5 and they assessed their nap naphthalene levels by checking their urine samples. And then what they found is that 30 of these 113 kids had chromosomal aberrations and 11 had severe chromosomal changes that are called translocation that puts you at a high risk for developing cancer. So this is not something that's small and it's something that you know, it's in this country what we do is when we make a product, we allow manufacturers to put it out there. We wait till something goes wrong and they say, shouldn't have done that, and now we're going to take it off the market. You know, some people even use mothballs like as a, as a room deodorizer, but room air deodorizers freshener. aren't air fresheners. They're not healthy anyway. But I'd like to talk a little bit about some of the alternatives to mothballs oh. for people to use because nobody wants moths. You don't want holes in your clothes. And there are other ways to do it, like with bay leaves and cinnamon sticks and l dr dried lemon peels. You can even make a sachet with lavender and, and eucalyptus. And there are other, other choices, too. I things. like the cedar wood. You just put line oh, yeah. your closet with cedar wood and the moths don't like it. That's well, probably you want, the most And effective. you want the ones that smell. Some of the cedar doesn't really smell uh -huh. much and it's called juniper also. Uh -huh. But I d just recently found some that are like round with a little hole and you uh -huh. stick it on the top of the hanger. Uh -huh. Cool. So there are lots of alternatives that get away from the thing that is causing problems for our kids and for us as well. So we need to be cognizant of doing anything that doesn't seem like it's exactly natural uh, and rather than wait to see what's going to happen over a period of 10 or 15 or 20 years, just because everybody's doing it and because, quotes, the FDA has approved it, doesn't mean it's safe. So we need to take responsibility ourselves rather than find out like we have here that we have a lot of kids that are developing cancer uh, because they were exposed to something simple as a mothball. <laughs>